Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today I'm going to be continuing the video invitation with a menu. In the previous video I looked at how we would do an invitation with a menu using the booklet format. For today I'm going to be showing you how we would do the invitation with a menu on a single page. Now here I have in front of me a blank Microsoft Word document. We first need to do our preliminaries and then we get straight into it. Now, as often I say to you, once you open Microsoft Word, by default, you should always select no spacing. Once you do that, then you select Times New Roman, font size 12. Now, as I said in the previous video, I will repeat myself here, that when it comes to simple displays, you are free to use your level of creativity. Borders, colors, different font style, font size, etc. to make your work as attractive and creative as you possibly can. All right? Next, I'm going to go to page layout. I'm gonna set my margin. Now for the booklet format, we use 0 0.5 inches margin, but for this format being a one page document, we're going to leave it at one inch all around. All right. Then we do not need to go on columns because it will be on one page. Our orientation will still remain at portrait. All right. And then we can start our typing. Now also bear in mind that everything that we're doing should be centered on the page. So I'm going to select center alignment and proceed from there. So I'm going to start off, let's party. I'm going to put that in a specific font. All right, and then again, bear in mind, you can choose whatever font you see fit. Remember, it's your level of creativity and everyone's creativity is different. All right, so I have let's party. Then I put a double space. Then I will have to go back to font size 12. All right, so I'm going to say glorious um, 18th birthday. All right, so let me change this up a bit. And then I want the name of the person to stand out. Then 18th birthday. All right. So Gloria's 18th birthday. All right. So now I'm going to insert my menu below this. I have a double space and I insert my menu. Bear in mind that I said to you there are two ways we can do this. You can write the word menu and then you select any font style that you so desire so that that menu will stand out. Or you can use a word art and you select the one that you want. But I, I, I like using the font style. All right. And so I will use that now. So I'll type the word menu. And then I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to select a font style. There's a new one that I'm trying out, Harrington. All right, so I select my font style and then I will select the size that I want. All right, remember you want it to stand out on the page. All right, so I have it at 36. Then I'm going to have a double space. And bear in mind, once that is 36 and I enter, then the space below would be at that same 36. So I have to take it back to font size 12. All right, so I have a double space and then I'm going to insert the menu. Now, I have that pre-prepared on my clipboard, so I'm just going to insert it from there. Okay, there you have it. Okay, now, so here it is. Now, remember I said to you that as it relates to our menu, we can use the headings, appetizers, main course, desserts, beverages, or we can use our symbols. In the previous video, with the booklet format, I would have utilized the symbols. So for this, I'm using the words. And that's all we will have the words. 
All right, so it's an invitation. Let's party Gloria's 18th birthday. The menu and the th in 18th. I'm going to put that in superscript. All right, so Gloria's 18th birthday, the menu, and I'm going to get back to the rest of the invite. All right, so remember now with the invitation, we are supposed to have what? Date, time, and place. So to let the invitation look a bit more creative, I'm just going to insert that information used in a text box. All right, so I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to select shapes and select my text box. All right, space that out and insert my information. So this um, will be on the Thirtieth of April, twenty twenty one. Now, bear in mind that the day comes after the month. All right, as we're doing this thing in the center stack. So April thirty, twenty twenty one. All right, and where will that be held? It will be held at the party house. And where is the party house located? I'm going to say 17 Glenmore Road, Maypen. Clarendon. All right. And then all of this should be centered. So I'm going to go back home. Select my Times New Roman. Font size 12. Center the information. All right, and um, I want. Right, so this is looking good. All right, so I'm going to go back to text box and I'm going to select a color for it. All right, and any color to your liking can work. All right, let me use the green. All right, so that is it. Now, so this is my invitation with a menu. Now, some other things that needs to be done. I'm go also going to insert a page border. And I'm going to, let me double tap in my header. You need to put the, your, the name of the document. Remember, you get marks for this, all right? So, invitation with a menu and your name. Rolanda Francis. Again, this should be in Times New Roman, font size 12. And I'm going to put it at 0 0.3 inches. All right, I'm going to close out of my head. All right, so now we're going to do the page border. So we go to page layout and select page borders. Now note that there is a difference between page border and mere borders. And I would have stated this in the previous video. But for this video and being a one page document i want the border to be around the entire page so i'm going to select page border now there are different borders that you can select you can select line borders or you can select art borders i'm going to select an art border all right and this being a birthday invite i'm going to select the balloons you're able to select the width for that all right, and apply to the entire document and press OK. All right, so here is a document with that page border being around it. Now, I'm going to add maybe a picture now for you to see, you know, a bit more creativity. Or while I'm still here on page layout, I'm going to select a page color for you to see how that will look. So you can add color to the page. By hovering over it, you see how that um, applies to the page itself. All right, so you can put colors on the page. All right, all right, so this is it. But if you want to make it a bit more interesting, you could go ahead and maybe add a picture to the document. All right, I have a picture on my clipboard, so let me add that. And we move from there. All right. So here's a picture, happy birthday. Um, I'm going to put that behind the text. If you realize that as it is now, 
also let me go to text wrap and put that on square all right so yeah, as you realize as it is now the information is being um that is parted because the picture is in between all right so i have to put that behind the text so i'm going to go to text wrap and select behind text and then everything will come back together so i'm just going to fix this behind the text so i want it you're not able to see the text properly because this um, picture is in color so i have to go put it in something known as whitewash for it to fade out in the back and if i do that i will have to take off the color of the page and then the color on the page is not a must all right so i'm now going to go to recolor and i'm going to select wash out all right and that's how it would look behind the the information i will also need to go back to page layout go back to page color and select no color all right you realize now you're not seeing the white standing out but everything is okay all right and that's how it will look behind the text all right i've also realized that the person's information in the header has now been removed because the page border is now there so i have to make adjustments to that so i'm just going to double click in the header and I have header from top 0 0.3 inches. So I'm going to maybe go a bit further, right? So I'm going to put it at 0 0.1. And there is the information. Now, if it is that you have it here and you're attempting to print and you realize it's not coming on. However, these things will be emails. So I think it will be okay. But if not, then you may have to go to the other road by putting it back at 0 0.5. And this is at 6. And that is at 0 0.5. So maybe I have to put it at 0 0.6 inches. Although this will now be a part of the document. All right, but I would prefer it being placed at 0 0.1, right, away from the border to show that it is outside of this thing. All right, and then I'm going to close and I'm going to go to print preview and then we preview the final document. And here it is. All right, and that is it. I do hope that you understood something from this video today. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your notification bell so that you do not miss another upload. Alright, thanks for watching, and see you in my next video.